Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm gonna be covering Nikali. He made his first appearance in the Street Fighter V video game that was released on PlayStation 4 and PC in February of 2016. He's also known as the Soul Consuming Darkness, as well as being described as the Emissary of the Gods. Now, although he's a powerful ethereal entity, when he's in his basic humanoid form, he stands 6 feet 3 inches tall and weighs 249 pounds, having yellow eyes and long dreaded black hair that slowly turns into a dark blood red. But when he's in his standard enhanced or V-triggered state, he typically has glowing red hair. We understand that Nikali has an ancient Aztec origin, but the details of this are sketchy. He also has some striking similarities to figures from other franchises. Three in particular being Ogre from the Tekken series, Asura from Asura's Wrath, and his most powerful attack, also known as Critical Art, closely resembles that of Wolverines from Marvel vs. Capcom. All of this being said, Nikali has a very feral and unorthodox fighting style that's been described as, and I quote, violent style taking advantage of physique, which seems about right seeing as how powerfully he's built. All in all, he can be described as a grappler, with most of his moves being inspired by Aztec culture. Just a few of these are his Valiant Rebellion Stomp, the Mask of Tali, the Ceremony of Honor, and the powerful critical art known as Soul Offering. Now, Nikali is an extremely vicious being that pretty much hates all humans. His backstory was actually narrated by an Aztec warrior priest known as the Warrior Prophet. And he stated that every few hundred years, a time called the Hour of Battle would occur. And this is a period that Nikali awakens to consume the souls of very strong warriors. The warrior prophet told that the very next Hour of Battle would be when Nikali would come to consume the souls of one named Ryu, Dalsam, and M. Bison. And what's interesting is that while he was actually expounding upon Nikali's past, Nikali came to devour his soul which unexplainedly changed Nikali's appearance to become much more human looking. The warrior prophet's scars being transferred onto Nikali's being. Now when you fast forward to the modern day, it's shown that Nikali was awakened due to Shadaloo's black moons eclipsing the sun, bringing this ancient entity forth and leading to his first encounter with Ryu and Dalsam. Nikali in his powerful transformed state was initially able to overpower Ryu, which caused the iconic Japanese fighter to tap into his dark Satsui no Hado. But before the two can finish this bout, Dawson appears and snaps Ryu out of this evil state, Nikali then vanishing to reassess the situation. Nikali would later reappear and actually attack Charlie Nash in one of his dreams, and would even go on to battle with M. Bison and Fang, although the villain's efforts would prove to be too much for him. During the same period, while he was still in the Shadowloo base, he'd also come across and try to consume the souls of Rashid and Charlie, but the two of them managed to escape him. From there, Nikali would turn his attention back to his main prize, the soul of the powerful warrior, Ryu. When he seeks him out and the two street fighters square up again, Nikali changes into his powerful, monstrous state to try to directly go and devour Ryu's soul. This causes Ryu to unleash the full power of the Satsui no Hado and the power of nothingness, actually transcending into a state called the Hado Kakusai. And after one savage rush from Nikali, Ryu focused all of this power into one punch through his chest, which reverted Nikali back to his normal state. Then being confused about why he couldn't devour Ryu's soul, Dawson appears and tells him that Ryu can't be devoured as long as he doesn't struggle with the Satsui no Hado. At this, Nikali dissolves away, but we can be sure that this won't be the last time we hear from him. Now, due to his powers and abilities and his influence on the Street Fighter universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Nikali a rating of 6, which is an expert rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to the new Sage.